What is going on guys? We have a YouTuber here, back with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing two card reviews of uh, number 25 Focus Force uh, and Photon Strike Bouncer. And I'm going to be doing a little comparison between the two of them. Uh, because uh, their differences are kind of subtle, but I think one of them overall pretty much wins out. And uh, I'm going to go through the advantages and disadvantages of both cards to see which one that will be. Okay, so as my undeniably witty section heading implies, uh, we'll first be looking at Force Focus. So let's bring him down. Okay, so he's a rank 6 XYZ, uh, light, machine type, 2800 attack, 2400 defense. Pretty good on paper. Let's look at his effect. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can attach one XYZ material from this card to target one face of level 5 or higher effect monster your opponent controls. Negate the effects of that opponent's face up monster until the end of the turn. Okay, so let's be practical first. How easy can you summon this guy? Well, there are two main builds that I can think of that you can summon him in. Uh, those two builds are Dragon Sworn, uh, using Chaos Source Run like Pulsar Dragon, or the newly released Heretic Dragons, most of which are level 6, so you can overlay them quite easily with the normal type dragon monsters that they summon. So on to the pros of this card. First, just look at the guy. He's a friggin' camera. Props to Konami for turning another inanimate object into a Yu-Gi-Oh trading card. Let's be nice for a minute. 2800 attack gets over a lot. And the negation of level 5 or higher effect monsters effects while face up is pretty damn good. It pretty much affects every synchro monster in the game, um, as well as uh, several tier 1 decks at the moment, such as the Chaos Dragons, um, Rally's Darkness Metal Dragons effect, um, and a bunch of other stuff. So he's not too bad, that is, in isolation. See, the problem is that if you isolate a card uh, from the metagame and the context in which it is used, you'll very often find that it seems a lot better than it actually is. So I'm going to break this card down now according to its cons. So what really hurts this guy? Well, in short, it's the fact that as far as his effect goes, his powers of negation extend only to level 5 or higher effect monsters, a fairly limited set in a metagame dominated almost entirely by XYZ based decks, most of which are someone using monsters of level 4 or less anyway. Uh, furthermore, I'm finding it difficult to think of a single example, other than the aforementioned Red Eyes Dark Smile Dragon, which would justify using this guy over, say, I don't know, the card I'm about to review, Photon Strike Bouncer, or perhaps Elzar Dalka, depending on the deck you're using. So he's pretty easy to summon, and his stats aren't bad. But unfortunately, his effect just lets him down too much. Not being able to affect XYZs, or monsters in the hand of the graveyard, is simply too bad of a disadvantage. Plus, there are far better alternatives than him. 2.5 out of 5, at best. And I'm going to further hammer this guy by saying that even as a cheap alternative to Photon Strike Bouncer, he can't even do close to what Photon Strike Bouncer does. So as an alternative, he's possibly the, one of the poorest out there. <laughs> Weevil, the natural born pun master. Now, let's move on anyway. Bring on the Bouncer! Yeah, so clearly this guy is far superior to his uh, counterpart, Force Focus. So as usual, I'm going to go through the advantages and disadvantages of this particular card. Let's break this guy down. Photon Strike Bouncer, rank 6, light, just like his counterpart. This time he's a warrior, 2700 attack, 2000 defense. Not too shabby, but it's his effect that really draws people in, and what makes him, incidentally, a $45 card. Once per turn, during either player's turn, when a monster effect is activated on your opponent's side of the field, you can attach one XYZ material from this card. Negate the effect, and if you do, inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. Just like Force Focus, this guy is particularly easy to summon, given that he's rank 6, and works in, again, the Dragon Sworn type builds and the Heretic Dragons, as well as probably a bunch of other archetypes that I actually can't think of, so if you guys can think of any that I haven't thought of, post them in the comment section. So, the advantage of this guy pretty much speak for itself. Um, his effect is amazing. His stats might, be, may might be as good, but uh, it's that 1000 damage, which is pretty much a kick square in the balls in addition to the negation of the effect, what makes him so damn good. In response to specific XYZ monsters' effects, this guy basically eats up Dalka, Zen Mains, Maestroke, Gachi Gachi, and many more. Plus, since they can't activate their effects twice within the same chain, the likes of Zen Mains will go plummeting to the graveyard. And, if required, Photon Strike Bouncer can just attack over most of these monsters anyway, making him even more versatile. So what about the cons? Well, his cons are similar to Focus Force in that he only affects monsters' effects that activate on the field. Um, he's still a quick effect, uh, like Focus Force, and his attack points are slightly less than Focus Force, at only 2700, meaning a lot of uh, the high-level synchro monsters can actually get over him. 
Um, other than that, there's not really much to say about him. While he may have worse stats than uh, Force Focus, and his effect still only applies on the field, the thousand damage is just too nice to overlook. And also the fact, the most important fact, that he affects monsters, whether they're XYZ, Synchro, or just regular effect monsters. For those reasons and more, I'm giving this guy 4 out of 5. So it is no surprise that Photon Strike Banter wins it. But the thing is, can you afford it? I mean, $45 is pretty damn expensive for a card, and uh, Force Focus is only about $8, so it's really up to you which one you choose to use. But Bouncer is clearly the better alternative. Okay, so that's all for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. And I have a few more videos coming up soon, including a deck review uh, from one of my friends at my locals, Timor, as well as my own deck review of my Scrap Anti-Meta deck. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. See ya.